It's a really nice Thousand Trails Park right here in Wachula, Florida in uh, the center, about 90 miles south of Orlando. And we can stay here for free because of our membership. We're gonna be here for two weeks. And it's a very nice campground, nice amenities. There's a pool and a hot tub, laundry, lounge, all the standard things. And it's not very full. The park is split into 50 amp and 30 amp sections. And we've decided to try um, a 30 amp site because it's less crowded down there. Um, we have stayed at a 30 amp site before and that basically means that we can't run two air conditioners at the same time or two high draw appliances like we can't run our little electric heater and the microwave. But we've never had a problem with it before and because it's winter we don't really need the air conditioning. Uh, the only new thing and a little bit of a drawback is that also has no sewer. So this is the first time we've had to manage our water consumption and that's been a little interesting. We have a honey wagon coming uh, tomorrow to pump us out. They provide it as a free service here. Sometimes parks will charge you for honey wagon service, but this park does it for free. So it's a good experiment for us to see what is it like not having any sewer um, in a place where it's, it's easy, easy to get a pump out if we need it. So we've been using buckets in the sink and the shower to catch overflow water and uh, if it's clean water we'll dump it outside in the grass um, just to try to save our gray tank a little bit and uh, it's been a good experiment for us. <laughs> How come you, oh, you want to play? You want to walk with me? Hey, stay with me, you have to stay with me. We found this lovely spot under these trees and we've had this neighboring spot is closed. The uh, electric box is covered so we haven't had any neighbors. And just today this area is starting to fill in more but all down this row is mostly empty for the past week. Today we're exploring the lakes of central Florida. You know if you look at a map of Florida there's that big blue dot down in the right hand corner. Lake Okeechobee is the largest lake in Florida and it was about an hour 20 from our RV park so we're pulling over here to do some exploring first and then we'll head back to some smaller lakes. small town of Lake Placid, Florida. It's the southernmost in this little chain of lakes that we're going to drive north now. And Lake Placid is known for having lots of pretty murals on, on their buildings. As we were driving into town, we kept seeing signs along the side of the road that said, watch out for, and it had some fuzzy picture of an animal on it, you know, like you see deer up in the Northeast, and it looked like a bear, and we kept saying, there can't be bear down here. This is the flat orange groves of Florida. Why, why would there be bears here? But here's a mural <laughs> with some bears on it. So it must be a thing. There's 
there's finding geocaches, and then there's just walking around and finding a geocache when you're not even looking. We did not even look for this. Though I must say, it's not hidden. Yeah, but it's an official geocache. Nice. Here, go ahead and open it. Curious what the uh, what the combination. Well, maybe the clue will say. We'll have to look at it online. <laughs> That's hilarious. That's pretty good. Ah! There's a lizard coming out the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness! Like, this thing is just full of surprises. I think it's haunted or cursed. The lizard ate the battery. over here. I, I thought it was a toy at first oh. and then it looked at me. It scared me down. <laughs> There's an ant. Is it an ant trap in there? This is the weirdest freaking cache you've ever found. There's a domino back there. Okay, we're done. <laughs> let's, let's lock this back up, shall we? <laughs> In case some children come come by. Yeah. Look at that poor lizard. Yeah, that look at the, look the one, <laughs> the tail right there. Nah. <laughs> well, that's fun. And then we'll put it back up in here. This little town that we're walking around reminds us of places that we visited in Chile and Mexico, and we're not exactly sure why, but uh, it's a small little town. It's a lazy Sunday afternoon. There's no cars on the road. There's not many people out. And these little buildings with the murals just reminds us of the Spanish towns that we've uh, visited in those places. And also there's this little plaza square in the middle, which every town in Chile and Mexico has a little plaza de armas. And there was one Mexican grocery store in town that was full of people. I didn't even go in there because nobody was wearing masks and it was really full. But I would have liked to see the Mexican stuff in there because it would have be reminded me of being in Mexico. What a fun little town. We love to walk around little quirky things like this. So since we have no sewer hookup at this site, this is our first time using a honey wagon. It's free here. Um, sometimes campgrounds charge for it, but they give you two pumps for free here. So this is gonna be our first time dumping our sewage and gray water tanks into this guy's big tank. Um, hopefully our gray tank just went full this morning and our black tank is not full yet. So I think we did a good job conserving our water over the past week. Wagon. I just want to capture it. I'm John. <laughs> so they've hooked up their hose to our system. We're not allowed to use our own hoses, but we did have to be here to hook it up ourselves. I can get about eight pumps depending on the size of the rig, and then I have to go to the dump station. Yeah. And our gray is good. Our black still says 67 for some reason, but sometimes it doesn't. Oh, because we didn't flush it out, they said we weren't allowed to flush it, only empty it, so that could be why the sensor is not reading correctly, but we are confident that it's empty. We'll do our own uh, 
dump station. Which, uh, that'll be the first time when we, we leave. do the dump station, too. Yeah, when we leave here. Yeah. We probably don't have to. We can just drive with it, but yeah. might as well. It's good, good Jason experience. had a fun conversation with the honey wagon guy. Was from... His dad was born in Presque Isle, where I grew up. In northern and, Maine. And he goes up to Maine all the time. He, he said... <laughs> it's funny. We're, what, a couple hours south of Orlando. And we said we we're going to Orlando next. He said, never been there. <laughs> He's down here. He said, I only move twice a year. From Maine to here. And he uh, he works for Thousand Trails. So I imagine they, you know, get a free spot. Plus, you know, plus a little bit of a salary of some sort there. But Our campground is running a blood mobile bus today and uh i wasn't going to give blood but i found out that if you do they will test you for free for covid antibodies which i'm very interested in so jason and i are heading down to the bus to give some blood We're getting ready to leave our campground here in central Florida so we decided to put our snap pads on. Um, they were out of production for several months during COVID and they finally got a new batch in so we were able to get some. And this is a rubber kind of rubber tire um, material that snaps onto the bottom of your jacks and makes for a more stable uh, jack on the ground so that your jacks don't sink into the ground. So we're happy to finally have them. I'm gonna wash these good and make sure they're nice and clean before we put these snap pads on. Make sure there's no dirt or mud stuck in there. Really particular RVs, RVers, uh, make sure they they wash these between every trip. They do? No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he, he stepped on the joke. <laughs> right, it's lined up. We put a little dish soap in there. That's what they recommend for a, a good seal and to get it down in there and so it snaps in. Yeah. Well, to help it slip in. There it goes. I think it's in. Good. Oh, okay. now, it, we don't, now we don't have to use these wooden blocks anymore. All right, we've been for two weeks at this 30 amp site with no sewer. So now this is our first time having to dump at a dump station while we leave the campground. We've pulled over, this campground has several dump stations sp sprinkled throughout the park. So we're just driving down the road here. We're gonna hook up and dump our tank. The only drawback is we can't flush our black tank here. We probably could, we could hook up the hose and wait for half an hour while it all flushes out, but we don't wanna take up this spot for other people. So we're just gonna dump it. And then when we get to our next park, we'll do a good flush as they say. <laughs> Screw that connector in. And you can see people are lining up to use the dump station, so we want to get in and out of here as quickly as possible. All right. I want you to get that. Thanks for watching please hit that like button and subscribe. Next week, we are heading to a very special place that I am so excited to show you. See you then. Bye.